Hello there, this is Shritam Thakure, Microsoft Certified Trainer and the topic under discussion in this video is Microsoft Global Secure Access. Microsoft Global Secure Access is the unifying term used for two topics, Microsoft Intra Internet Access and Microsoft Intra Private Access. Both of them are coupled with MDCA, that is Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps which is the MCAS solution, Microsoft Cloud Access Security Broker solution. So basically, Microsoft Global Secure Access allows users to access the Microsoft services or the corporate resources securely. Microsoft Intra Internet Access is used to access the Microsoft Standard Services and SaaS application with the help of Secure Web Gateway, whereas the Microsoft Intra Private Access is used to access the corporate resources securely without VPN. So let us go to the portal intra.microsoft.com to check on the setup part, configuration part. But before that, there are certain prerequisites which are required before configuring Microsoft Global Secure Access. So we go to the portal and check on the prerequisites as well. The first prerequisite is you should have Microsoft Intra P1 or P2 license. So we are proceeding here with Microsoft Intra ID P2 license. The second prerequisite is you should have a proper role assigned. So here we check on the required roles. The roles required to configure Global Secure Access are Global Secure Access Administrator and Conditional Access Administrator. The third requisite is the devices from where the global secure access will be used should be Microsoft Intra Joint. So here we check whether the device is Microsoft Intra Joint or not. Check on the joint type, it is Microsoft Intra Joint. With this, we proceed to configure global secure access. So click on global secure access connect traffic forwarding. And activate the service. Now go to global secure access. Connect traffic forwarding. And enable the Microsoft traffic profile. Click on OK and wait for the notification. The next task is to install the client. So go to Global Secure Access, connect, client download. The latest client for the Global Secure Access will be available in the Intra portal. Depending on the platform, download the client. So till now, using Global Secure Access, you have enabled the Microsoft Traffic Forwarding Profile and you have downloaded the Global Secure Access Client. Next task is you need to enable the tenant restrictions. So go to the external identities. Cross tenant access settings, middle tab default settings, 
scroll down go to tenant restrictions enable the tenant restrictions select edit and allow the access for user groups and external applications save the settings modification wait for the notification now the next task is go to the global secure access settings session manage enable the tenant restrictions for the intra covering all the cloud apps let it activate on your tenant and once it is activated then you go to adaptive access and make sure that it has enabled conditional access signaling for the intra id covering all the cloud apps go to the intra id left pane from there select conditional access from conditional access create a new policy your policy global secure access conditional access policy in the user we select all the users and exclude the break glass accounts so you will not log yourself out of the tenant so at least one account should be excluded from this policy conditional access policy select the target resources we are selecting all resources which are on cloud apps then go to the network see yes for the configuration or for the blocking criteria whereas you will exclude all the trusted networks and locations go for the access control in the grant select block access so this means that any network will be blocked access whereas only compliant networks allowed networks they will be granted access turn the policy on and create a conditional access policy for global secure access once the notification is successful make sure that the policy is reflecting under policies so these are the important four steps which are required to configure global secure access and with all these four steps any user who is having the microsoft global secure access client on their windows machine will be able to securely access the apps and resources of the corporate thank you